All right, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at how to um, get a Python notebook onto your computer. So say that your uh, remote service is not working, as ours is not now. Uh, we're going to look at how to get that uh, Python notebook and running on your computer, okay? So this assumes that you have the Anaconda installation installed already and that um, Jupyter Notebooks or IPython is running on the machine that you're on. So. Okay, so we have a URL of an IPython notebook, so we're going to go ahead and copy that. We're going to open a, a uh, tab, paste that in. The raw code will open. We're going to go ahead and do Control S to save. Okay, and we're going to save it somewhere that we want to run the notebook from. Okay, in this class, in this case, we're going to save it here to this folder. Okay. Okay, you want to make sure it's the IPYNB extension. Okay, so once that's downloaded, okay, so we have the IPython notebook downloaded, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and launch um, IPython. Okay, now to do this, um, and remember that we already have it installed on our computer because we saw installed the Anaconda distribution of Python already. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open up the command window. So by typing just CMD, you can do this in uh, Cortana. Or Kent, what's the new one? <laughs> the name of it in Windows 10. Anyway, there's a search box, right? Just open up the command window. The first thing we're going to do is switch to the drive we want. In our case, it's the D drive, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and switch to the folder we want, okay? So the easiest way to do this is to open up the My Computer, go to the folder that you want to switch to, okay? So in this case, this is the folder. And then basically, I'm just going to copy this path that I found. So this is the folder, right? That's my IPython notebook. I'm going to go ahead and copy that, that path right there. I'm going to right click in the command window and click paste. And then, sorry, I forgot to say, we're going to put CD for change directory, space, and then the path of the folder we want to change to. I'm going to hit enter, and you'll notice that my prompt now matches the location here in the folder, in the, in the um, Windows Explorer. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and launch a Jupyter Notebook. So we're going to type Jupyter and then note book okay so just like that j-y-p-y j-u-p-y-t-e-r space notebook enter now what's going to happen is you're going to see in the command window that the server for jupyter notebook starts up on your computer okay so it just takes a couple minutes okay so it's still starting here Okay, so you notice it just went, and once it once it starts, you have to leave this command window open. So if you close the command window, Jupyter Notebooks will stop running on your computer, but we can uh, minimize it. So you can minimize the window, and notice now that we now are in the folder. If you see right here, we're in the folder that, that we're, we had the notebook in. We're going to go ahead and open that notebook. Okay, and now, that, now you're running right here. Now notice that the kernel that we're using... Okay, in the case of our computers, we're going to be running Python 2. Now, that shouldn't change much for, for if you're a beginning programmer. Usually, it's just print is the main thing. So, when you type a print command, it has to, it, uh, it actually has forward compatibility, so you won't no notice much difference at all. Okay, so that's how you launch a Jupyter Notebook on your own computer. Okay, and even the file print preview works the same. Okay, so you print preview, and you should be able to save off your PDFs. Notice also that when you save your, your, uh, your work now, your work is going to be saved locally on your computer. So when you save your work, wherever you decided to make a uh, folder, so that's right here, right? Uh, that's, where, that's where it's going to be saved. Now notice we go File, New Notebook, right? We just got an untitled notebook here in our Windows thing, so you can actually create them as well. Okay, uh, best of luck.